Hello! Today, we'll be exploring the microscopic universe by shrinking to subatomic sizes. So, how's this gonna work? Each time I drink this magic potion, I'll be shrunk down by a factor of 10, making everything appear 10 times larger. I'll keep doing this, getting smaller and smaller each time, until we get to the very bottom of our universe, being able to view the elementary particles that make up reality itself. Alright, so here we are at 1 to 1 scale. As you can see, I've arranged some typical Minecraft objects. One block represents 1 meter. Nothing special to see here. But drinking our potion makes us 10 times smaller. And drinking it again brings us to 1 one hundredth of our original size. I'll keep our current scale in the corner of this video to help in understanding how small things really are. But things get out of control and fast. At 100 times the scale, the carpet now spans 100 blocks wide, and even the tadpole is taller than us. Here, I've introduced a few more items. A spider, assuming a real-life size of 1 centimeter. This represents a penny. This box of matches. And this is a chicken egg. And this is the paper now. There's also some super small things that you can clearly see now, such as a grain of rice, grains of sand, a human hair, and way down there, is a single pixel. But enough of this, let's shrink down by another factor of 10. Now we're getting somewhere. The box of matches now looms over us, as does the tadpole. Here's where things start to get huge. The carpet is now a thousand blocks wide. We can even see individual fibers. The torch is now over 600 blocks tall, and you can actually read what the paper says. But look at this. With our trusty microscope, we can even observe individual cells. So let's shrink even further. Here, a human hair and the thickness of paper can be represented by full blocks. And look at our penny. Details are clearly visible, and you can even read it. The letters are as tall as I am. But check out the box of matches now. I must admit, I'm more impressed with the back of the box, where the warning label and the barcode are now easily readable. Even the smallest items are starting to appear huge, and we're just starting to scratch the surface. Of course, the microscopic items on our list continue to emerge too. In fact, shrinking just once more brings us into a whole new realm. As we leave the macroscopic world behind, the things we'll see will be less and less familiar. There are a few more recognizable things left though. Remember the spider? It's now the largest thing we've seen at over a thousand blocks wide. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this just might be the largest spider ever made in Minecraft. But wait, this is actually the second largest thing we've seen so far. The penny is so large that the depth of the letters are like valleys in mountain ranges, revealing microscopic cracks and ridges. I'm just in the letter E in scent, and look at this, this is just crazy. I've always thought grains of sand were all fairly similar, but as it turns out, each grain is unique, varying in shape and color. At this scale, you can actually see these differences in these sand grains. Alright look, there's just too many things to cover and simply not enough time. So, rather than introduce every single thing every time, I'm just going to introduce the small things that appear as we shrink. And speaking of shrinking... I think it's about time I introduce these things here. Here we have a red and white blood cell, and an X chromosome. And you know how you can get sick if you eat raw chicken? Well, this is Salmonella the bacteria that causes it. It's only three blocks right now, but trust me, that won't last long. Even smaller than these cells are viruses, the purple one being the largest known virus, while the smaller one represents another type of virus that I'll talk about later. On the larger side of things, we have a human skin cell, complete with all the internal pieces, like mitochondria, that make it function. At nearly 10,000 times larger, the grains of sand, along with the pixel, hair, and paper, will become too large to display once we shrink again. In fact, if I were to overlay the sheet of paper on the game map at this scale, 
it would stretch to 210,000 blocks wide. So it's time to bid farewell to the familiar things, as everything from here on out is too minuscule to see with the naked eye. Being smaller than individual cells really makes you appreciate our biology. A single skin cell has its own complex ecosystem. Inside you can see all the organelles, including mitochondria, and here's the nucleus of the cell. Flying down here lets us see all the things that were only a few blocks wide before. But here in the very center, three new things are visible. That is a strand of DNA. But the other two? Those are surprisingly made by humans. First up, the transistor. You probably have billions of these inside the device you're using right now. And in Minecraft, you can make some pretty advanced stuff with them. And the other one is a carbon nanotube, an ultra-strong structure with many different uses. Well, anyways, you know the drill. Ten times smaller again. This is the red blood cell. At this scale, its surface resembles that of an alien landscape. It's now almost 700 blocks wide, yet it's not the largest thing here. That honor belongs to the white blood cell. Meanwhile, the salmonella bacteria looks like a cheese puff of some sort but the chromosome looks pretty unique. On the tiny side of things though, I've actually only added one thing here. This is a single water molecule. And with that, we now enter the molecular realm. Let's take some time to appreciate how far we've come. We are now a staggering one billion times smaller than when we first started. Although that's incredibly tiny already, we're not even close to the smallest things that exist. Crazy part is, we're not even halfway down. Luckily though, soon enough we'll be so minuscule that there's just less to show. So hopefully that keeps things from getting too repetitive. Behold Megavirus, the largest known virus. It's basically the shape of a D20. By the way, making an accurate D20 in Minecraft is quite a pain. And this is a bacteriophage, another type of virus. This type of virus infects bacteria by injecting DNA, which is what you see here. Fun fact, there's more of these in the world than every biological thing combined including bacteria. There is but one new thing here, that being our first glimpse at a single particle, the atom. For the first time, there's actually nothing new to reveal. The helium atom is still the smallest thing we can see, while the transistor gate is the largest. Though transistors are made through a complex process, they can easily be represented in Minecraft. Chaining them up in specific ways can make entire circuits, and this is how real computers work too. Barely thinner than that though is DNA, each block being roughly the size of an atom. Remember about how I mentioned that the smaller we go, the less there is to display? From this point on, there's really not too much left, just elementary particles. As such, I'm going to change it up a bit. Every time I drink the potion, instead of getting 10 times smaller, I'll get 100 times smaller. That's right, 100 times smaller. So without further ado, there's a new contender for the largest thing we've seen. The carbon nanotube, which was previously only 25 blocks wide, is now over 2,500. Each individual carbon atom spans 140 blocks wide too, 
and the water molecule, being a similar size to one of those atoms, now stands as tall as a skyscraper. As large as the atoms appear now, new things are only just barely visible. Can you spot the electron? What about now? Still now? The size ratio between the atom and its electrons is almost unimaginable. In fact, the vast majority of an atom is empty space. The sphere only represents where the electron could be. And if you really want to get technical, the sphere isn't even accurate, but electron clouds are out of the scope of this video, so spheres will have to do. Here's the helium nucleus, and for comparison, I've included a uranium nucleus too. Now, let's see what these atoms look like closer up. Despite the sheer size of the helium atom now, the electrons and nucleus are still smaller than a single block. What I have in front of me is the helium and uranium nucleus, which of course are made out of protons and neutrons. Helium has just two of both, and uranium has, well, a lot more. And remember, this little thing lies at the center of this. But that's already everything here. So a hundred times smaller we go. So it's important to note that sizes at this scale are not precise or even confirmed. But at this point, they're all just essentially spheres. We have the proton and neutron, along with the uranium nucleus, nothing new. However, there is something here that you may have missed. In the center, these are the up and down quarks. Let's see what they look like closer up. Okay, not gonna lie, at this scale, they're only just one block. But here are all the quarks except for one, the top quark, which is the smallest. Quarks are subatomic particles that make up protons and neutrons. They are some of the smallest things in the universe. Well, okay, let's go to the next one. There is but one new thing here, the top quark. When compared to all the other quarks, it's clear that it's vastly smaller than any of them. Basically, nothing else exists down this far. So let's keep going. Behold the strange quark. Now 4,000 blocks wide. We're finally nearing the end of our journey. There's actually just one more thing left. Even though quarks are some of the smallest things in the universe, there's still something smaller. The neutrino. Size at this scale essentially loses all meaning. Actually, in the standard model, all elementary particles have zero size. So depending on the model you use, the quarks may have no size at all. But either way, this is it. This is the end of the line. We have reached absolute tiny. This project involved continuous problem solving from world editing legs on the spider, to making massive objects in the world, to making whatever this monstrosity is. I even learned how to make a simple Python script to make the uranium nucleus. So it would mean a lot if you left a like on the video or subscribe to the channel. I love exploring random concepts in new ways through Minecraft, and I hope to do more of this kind of thing in the future. Well, anyways, that's about it for this video. Thanks so much for watching.